Hello and welcome everybody to a video review of Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Silverbolt, the leader of the aerial bots. As you can see, he is a jet who is primarily white with orange stripes and a random orange hinge right here that I hate. He has a huge block underneath which really it's Silverbolt, so what are you going to do? That's just, this jet is hard to turn into a robot, so meh. For accessories, he comes with this little shield. And a big gun, which can peg together like this, and you can fold up his landing gear and store the gun underneath the vehicle mode. So, for transformation, fold up this little tail fin and fold up the wings. Oh. Fold back the nose cone, pull it up. Now, for then, unclip his arms from there and pull them out. Unclip the legs, flip out the feet. Oh, 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 don't knock over the camera. Ah, tight joints. And sand him up. He's getting tall, so raise the camera. A bit too much actually, but whatever. Fold down the chest and flip out the head. And there you have Transformers Generations Combiner Wars. Silverbolt in robot mode. Focus. Then he can have the shield and the gun and wield them. Or he can peg them on his arms. Yeah. So for articulation, oh, don't fall, please. He has a ball jointed neck with an okay range, ratcheted shoulders, a swivel underneath that, a swivel elbow that looks like a ratchet but it's not, ratcheted hips, good range of motion, swivel, double jointed knee, and nothing at the feet. So he can articulate pretty well. As a standalone figure, he's okay. Uh, for size comparison, here he is with Alpha Bravo. Well, here's a better comparison there. So, would I recommend this guy? On his own, no. I think if you're going to get him, you should have the rest of the aerial bots as well. So, I'd say mildly recommended. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Anyway, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.